Hi, so this is the Q1. It's part of the Q series, which means that it's got the twin wheel feature, which gives it really good stability and makes these ones a lot easier to ride. The other beauty of the Q1 is that it's the lightest of the Q series, but you'll still achieve nine to 13 miles in distance. So when you're ready to go with the Q1, as ever, you can fold down your pedals, turn the unit on. Once the unit's on, the gyro is obviously working to keep itself upright on the forwards and backwards. As you can see, it's operating to stay upright. And obviously that's the beauty of the Q series is that it's not going to fall over left or right because it's got the two wheels there for the rigidity and stability. Obviously when you're ready, same with all of the air wheels, step on and off you go. Now the great thing with these, it does take a little bit of balance but you can pretty much stay on the spot with these, whereas the X series, you wouldn't be able to because it's less balanced and less stable across a wider base on the floor. So that's the beauty of the Q series. Yet you can still turn quite nimbly on these. So they're still agile, still quick, great power up hills, off road, wherever you want to take them. series in general and particularly with the Q1 where it's a lot lighter than the other models inside the Q series you've still got the benefits of the powerful motor being able to go uphill or off-road wherever you want to take it but you'll also find the stability still there with the twin wheel feature so if you really wanted to you could go backwards you can go forwards the unit doesn't know and you can still turn tightly Now there's so many features that I particularly like about this unit, of course being in the Q series where it's got the stability like we talked about, as with all of the units, they're waterproof so you can ride them in the rain, and it's just an ideal unit for anyone that's looking to get a good bit of distance out of their wheel, but isn't looking for the X series and wants something that's slightly easier to ride. So it's ideal for commuters in the sense that it's the lightest of the Q series, so you can pick it up and carry it if you need to. It's just a great wheel, and you'll get a lot of benefits out of it. Still very powerful, so as you saw, we took it off-road, we're taking it uphill, and at no point did I ever feel like the motor was struggling in any way, shape, or form. So it's a really great unit, and definitely one that I recommend.